Hello. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up um, username and password based logins for SQL Server. So the username and password logins are under security and then logins. As you can see there are some built in ones and there's the default SA one and I'm going to show you how to make your own. So click on the top login directory, right click, and new login. Here you are going to create an SQL Server authentication login. This is the st typical standard um, user password login. We're just going to I'm going to put my name the name of the login as example, but you can put whatever suits the need um, of the login. Um, usually it's something as descriptive um, to the user who was logging in using that. And then set in a password. Based on how strict you want the system for security reasons you can enforce any of these policies um, but for this purpose I'm going to not go into that. Um, also if you look down you'll see default database um, so when the user logs in um, it has a d database that it def defaultly goes to. Um, for this example we're going to choose a custom database diorama and select OK. You will see that the user now pops up and by double clicking you can bring up that user's properties again, change the password, change the enforced password, um, change the default um, database, also can change the roles of that person this is server ride rules so it can be um, adhered by every database you can also map that user to a number of, um, of the databases located in there and give them certain accesses um, to each database so there's one more type of um, user and that is each database actually has its own user um, table and so by going and clicking into a database going into the security user very similar to the one that's just on the entire SQL server there's a list you can do new user. And you can call this user whatever you want. I'm going to continue to call it example. And I'm going to choose a login name. This essentially attaches the login that we just created to the one that we're now going to create. Um, this provides access to this database from the login. So we're going to browse for available logins and we can see examples there and click OK and now we have example linked to this database and we want to make this user the owner Let's give them um, reader and writer and access admin roles and also down here. And there you have it. You now have created a user for SQL Server to log in and attached to that user another user within the database um, and assign roles to the user.